Is it worth it? Um, you get a few milligrams, so if you just leave it in the back of the freezer and uh, not think about it. How do you it, crystallize it? Uh, it crystallizes really well from toluene. So just wash this flask with toluene and put it in a vial uh, and sit it in the back of the freezer and then when you need a few milligrams, it'll be there for you. I usually don't factor that into the yield, the, the few milligrams I usually don't factor into the yield. Okay. So important thing to do before you take the sublimator out is to put it under vacuum so that you don't have a any leaking. So just pull vacuum for 30 seconds or a minute. Make sure the whole flask is evacuated. Make sure you close it tightly. Are you gonna wrap it in aluminum foil now or? Yeah, so as soon as it comes out of the glove box, we will wrap it in aluminum foil. So I'm just gonna move to the other side. Our large antechamber is already ready for us to come out. Six, actually 60 degrees so you don't want to be too hot ASP3 melts at 72 so you don't want to be above that temperature I turned off the light so turn off the light and then wrap your sublimator in aluminum foil and we'll put a piece right over the top as well. vacuum or how good does the vacuum need to be for so this temperature? I don't think you need a vacuum that's that great. Uh, hose just split. Um, we tested our vacuum the other day and uh, it went down below one tour so I would say below one tour is probably a good is good enough. So this doesn't need to be under high back conditions. Line pump down for a minute. We have our 
uh, our cooler set to 10 degrees. So we're gonna open our recirculator now, and we're gonna hook up the, the water to our supplement. sublimator so that uh, the water doesn't pop out at some point. piece of aluminum foil and we'll just put the bottom of the sublimator into the oil bath. 